Hey everybody, welcome back to Dead Secret Circle 2. This is part three? Four? Three? I think it's part three. Uh, if you haven't seen the first part, so you should definitely go check it out. It is very good and very creepy. I'm currently in like this weird little in-between dream thing. Like I can see like the seam where they connect the assets right there. So how you doing, everybody? You doing good? I'm doing pretty well. I'm kind of like waiting for something to like follow me or something. <laughs> oh boy, I wish I could sprint. I love the I love the music though. The wow wow. I love that thing. Uh guess I just walk around. What are you? Statue. Oh. <laughs> Dear Dr. Hathaway, I don't know what to think. Each night I dream of familiar places that I've never been. It feels so real. Oh, and I found out what Ikariu means. It's a living ghost, a spirit that wanders off while the body's asleep. Weird, huh? Dr. Hathaway, something else to tell you. Josie Herrera's mask from the woodcutter case, it's gone. Not only that, I found another one of those strange tapes. Someone's been in my place. Today, I'm finding some way into one of the apartments. His name is Bram Holleran, and he's definitely hiding something. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going back to Bram's house, huh? He's the one with the brother, right? Seems like building, okay. Uh, need new notes. Almost like menus. Uh, so I'm going up to, oh, just 201, okay. Easy peasy. Boop. Ooh, this is open. Ah, he's in there though. I don't like this guy. He's a fucking dick. That's... Uh, Edmund never throws anything away. These papers are ancient. Uh, fire downtown out of control. Are you safe? Keeping warm in the cold. Hello, Edmund. You? Again? No one ever teach you to knock. I need your help. Yeah, well, get in line, Toots. Everybody needs help today. Toots. Harriet's got the leaky faucet, Janet's fridge is kaput, and Bram called three times to see if the postman's come yet. Now you barge in here with... with something, and you don't even live here. Uh, Bram's waiting for a letter? I'd come back later. This is an emergency. Friends waiting yeah, for a letter? from some magazine he sends articles to. So he's got a mailbox, same as everyone else. Who cares? Can I see it? Do you have Bram's phone number? No, but he sure as hell has mine. I swear, he calls again and telling him to go and get that damn thing from the post office himself. <laughs> okay. That's not a bad idea. So what you want, anyhow? Uh, the elevator's stuck on the third floor. I think the basement is flooded. Janet's kid is missing. Yeah, what else is new? Happens oh. every winter. Now scram! Damn. Side light. <sighs> oh, there we go. Okay. I thought, like, this was his office, and he just, like, kicked me out and, like, barricaded it. Hello? Hi. I'm gonna look around your office a bit. Is that cool? Oh. Sorry to bother you again. I thought they Hi. told you to scrum. Take a hike. Will What's you? scrum? I'm sorry, I don't understand. What's scrum? So what you want, anyhow. <laughs> um, Jan's kidding me thing. sakes. Probably got out of the room again. Last time, he's about to break his neck on the stairs. Better go check he ain't stuck or nothing. Kids, yuck. I agree. Kids, yuck. All right, cool. 
Excuse me as I just walk on your bed. Does he sleep in his office? Edmund, thank you for coming by last week. Uh, the noises in my bedroom ceiling are getting worse, and I'm starting to think it's not an animal after all. I guess why I heard somebody walking around up there last night. I'll tell you what, I think. I think it's Harriet. I think she's trying to terrorize me and the child. I'm going to give the bitch a piece of my mind. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know that we won't need uh, the rat poison after all. Please save that money for a rainy day. Best, Janet. It's a design magazine. The number two is written on a square on the cover. What does that mean? Leave no stone unturned. So, okay. So, square's number two. Okay. I wonder if I'm gonna find more shit around his office. Oh my god, I keep being stuck on that. <laughs> oh, it's another one of these puzzles. Okay, like from the last game. Easy. Oh, fuck off. Adobe. He's trying to update stuff only when I record. Like, never... Never any other time. Why does he keep reloading me like that? That one didn't do it. There we go. Uh, Fatal Framed! Nice. Realization. I'm not gonna read this. If you wanna read it, then... Here you go. Better pause. I see something saying about... A bloodletting routine. I like the art, that looks really cool. Alright, let's see. Anything that. Tr nope. Uh. This calendar uh, is a month out of date. Maybe Edmund likes the picture? Okay. Let's see, what else we got? There's gotta be more of those magazines or something, or like hints about the code. I guess residents call Edmund over little uh, over every little thing. I get the feeling he really cares for them. Aw. Alright, so I guess there's nothing in there. Let's see, is this one of them? Edmund has a lot of old magazines in here, but this one is fairly new. Popular tools. Uh, I can't rotate it. All right. Start at the bottom. Here we go. Emergency contact information. Uh, 201 is Calm Holloran. 203 is Janet Easley. It's disconnected. Uh, 301 is Hubert Crane, and then 302 is Rose Chan. Uh, can't exactly see in that one. Okay, well, WTF. We're <laughs> uh, let's just talk about the fire. Any magazines laying around? I might have to just, like, leave. And try again. Unless I can just, like, guess it somehow. <laughs> let's just do all squares. That sounds good. Alright, uh, I guess let's look around a little bit more. I do believe that this one's done, though. Unless... Let's try... Let's try this. Let's do... Diamond, square, circle, upside down triangle. Then let's also try X, square, diamond, X. That could work. Or it could be square, square, X, circle. 
Let's try those. That seems that seems pretty crafty. Boop. All right. First, let's try square, square, X circle. Nope. Okay. Uh, now let's try di diamond, square, circle, triangle. Nope. Okay. Let's try X square, diamond, X. Okay. Then I will look around some more. Oh, hi. What kind of wild ghost game are you playing? Janice kid ain't missing. Get out of my office. It's locked. Uh-oh, did I screw up? Did I take too long? Oh, here we go. Uh, 5558210. Okay. 5558210. Cool. Now I know what to do. Fucking rotary phones, man. I bet a lot of you are too young to even know what this thing is. My dad had a thing for these, like he really liked them. So we had one in our house and he made me learn how to use it <laughs> for no reason. He was just like, learn it. Yes. Hello, Mr. Holleran. I'm calling from the 4th Street Post Office. There's a package here you need to sign for. It's about goddamn time. Do you have any idea how long I've been waiting for you cretins to call? I'll be right there. What a... What a douche and a half. Graham's on his way to the post office, now's my chance to slip into his apartment and have a look around. Alright, let's break and enter. He's still in there. I don't Hi. know why you're here. Uh, hello, Janet. Look, it's Patricia, right? You can drop the act. I know what you're looking for. You do? The mountain reaches to the moon. What? The child talks foolishly in her sleep. You're not I making know sense. who you are. You're one of them. One of who? My name is Patricia. Well, Patricia, you tell them Janet Easley's not coming back to their goddamn secret club. I'm over all that. Have you seen anyone suspicious around suspicious? here? Suspicious? Other than you? Rude. Yes, not a resident. Somebody else. Uh, they may be wearing a mask. I think somebody is hiding out in the building. Only in my dreams, honey. What can you tell me? It's about a week ago. Dreamt I saw this cat standing on the stairs. It's dark. But I think he had a mask on. A man yeah, in a mask? Yeah, a white mask. He's headed up the stairs. They to have the my mask. Floor. I told myself it's a dream, but now I'm not so sure. What's on the fourth floor, or tell me more? Nothing. It got all burned up, and they say it ain't safe. I don't have a clue where he's headed or why. Tell me no, more. No, I already said too much. You just make sure to give him the message, all right? I'm done with all that. Okay. Thank you, Janet. Huh. Huh. Saw someone suspicious on the fourth floor. Bye, Janet. Oh, this weather's going to kill me. I don't care, dude. <laughs> Let it happen. Go into the light. What is this crap? He talks so loud. Hey. Oh, shit. Uh, uh. Hold on. Somebody was in the elevator. It was actually moving. Oh, I can raid this thing now. Uh, it looks like a small keyhole. I wonder what it's for.
And then do I make it stop or does it stop on its own? Oh, okay. Neat. I was up there already, but whatever. <laughs> Who leaves their door open like that? What an idiot. Uh, hmm. Uh, the gag cartoons in each issue are, uh, are just as well regarded as the articles. Okay. I was identified with Watson. Okay. Did I just, like, find, like, a little secret? Or something? Not sure why I got the little jingle there. Nothing there. It's probably like a bathroom or something. Oh, no, another closet. Two closets. How rich is this guy? Uh, this is like a living area. Uh, stuff must belong, must belong to Bram's brother. Uh, C. Holleran Lab Journal. November 11th, 1955. So that's like 15 years ago in this story. Uh, shake so bad I can't hold the pen. Typing these now. <clears throat> Thought of killing myself again. No point. I'll be dead by some error anyway. I don't... I'm dying. I just want to stop spasms. Uh... <clears throat> Got the lab to send over a bunch of samples. Experiments start tomorrow. Oh boy. Let's make that stop, please. Uh, see Holleran Lab Journal, uh, 1964. Uh, 10 years since my initial diagnosis, they thought I'd die within the year. To be honest, they probably think I did die. <laughs> I've been holed up uh, in here for most of the last decade. I can't talk too much. Uh, and I'm not much to look at these days. Maybe it's better this way. But I'm alive, damn it. I'm alive. The daily regimen works. Adding an opiate to the formula was unfortunate, but necessary. The addiction uh, is the painful price I have to pay to stay alive. Uh, I should have, or I should be able to hold the disease at bay as long as I continue the treatment. Another 10 years at least, I think. Money is a problem. Proceeds from the house will uh, keep me going for a while, but what happens when the money runs out? Brom says, I have to concentrate on staying alive. I guess he's right. Okay. Uh, gray colored stone. Okay. Do I have... Shame. Too many secrets. Shame. Okay. Readers Weekly. Uh, My Brother's Keeper by Brom Holloran. Oh, he, uh, he wrote this. The brother did. How far would you go to help uh, your loved ones in a time of desperate need? Many will tell you they would readily give up their own lives to save, those, save uh, those of their family. Throwing yourself in front of a bullet. Pushing a child out of the path of an oncoming truck. These are deaths we that, we that we glamorize. Honorable deaths. Quick deaths. Uh, if we're honest with ourselves, easy deaths. But what of the times when we, uh, when the trade is not so straightforward? How many of you could amputate a perfectly good limb to save a loved one? Would you empty your bank account, give up your career prospects, and consign yourself to a life of poverty, poverty uh, to rescue a blood, blood relative? Would you agree to a protra uh, protracted, painful death by asphyxiation uh, if it meant your closest friends were assured a long and healthy life? Dig into these questions and you'll find them, or find that even those who ascribe to selfless, selflessness have limits. It is into these uh, recesses of the human soul that I have delved uh, since learning of my brother's disorder. He has a rare degenerative disease that even now, after a decade of treatment, I struggle to understand. The insidiousness of his condition is that it chips away at his mind bit by bit, a woodpecker determined to fell a great redwood. His ability to speak was first of the faculties, uh, or facilities, to go. Uh, followed by the ability to make rational decisions on his own. These days, he sleeps a dreamless, black sleep from which he is only able to wake with the aid of machines and drugs. Uh, even when he is awake and alert, he must be told to dress, eat, and even attend to his bodily needs. It is as if he has lost not only his speech, but his basic uh, sentience. 
keep my brother alive has been expensive. His treatment con uh, consumed his life savings, then it consumed mine. Though we uh, come from an affluent family, the war with the rot in my brother's brain will uh, has incinerated both of us uh, in punery? Penury? Penury? Uh, beyond the financial toll, his treatment requires the regular transfusion of cells from a healthy relative, an obligation that, uh, as his sole living kin, I alone can bear. That disorder that has brought my once brilliant brother to his knees is now in the process of cutting off my heels. Is it wrong to wish for the death of a loved one? Is there a point at which selflessness must end? A point at which uh, the cost is greater than the reward? When the sun sinks below the horizon and my brother's evenings, evening medication has been administered, I sit in my easy chair and I am swallowed by shame. Damn. Um, I guess let's try in here. It's locked. Okay. Uh, this is where I talk to homeboy. And I never really looked through his stuff that well. Page three with symbols. Um, that one's all covered in symbols that I already wrote down. Uh, here it is. Got to find my handy dandy notebook on my messy messy desk. All right, so we got three symbols. We got a square, a star, and some waves. I don't think that goes to the lockbox in Homeboy's office. Some of the symbols look like uh, the ones on the page I found. I guess I'm going to need some copper wire for this, okay. A pretty prestigious magazine based out of New York. Okay. What else you got? Why does it do that sometimes? It like moves me around. <clears throat> it's not my intention, dear reader, <coughs> to release my grasp of you quite yet. As tantalizing as the tale of the slit mouth woman may be, I have an even more interesting tidbit from the Orient. Letters from my dear friend, Dr. Rakudo of Kyoto described the living ghost or Ikiryo Ikiryo I think it's Ikiryo uh, this fascinating apparition behaves much like any ghost of legend floating around startling passers-by even possessing women and murdering enemies with one key difference uh, its source is a living person rather than a cold corpse the spirit leaves the body as one sleeps it seems to roam around of its own accord and cause mischief the denizens of the land of the rising sun consider the living ghost to be emotional, to be emotion embodied, a particularly powerful feeling that frees itself and wanders the mortal, the moral plane. I think it's supposed to be mortal plane. Just think, a woman, because it's always a woman, <laughs> in the throes of despair, could strike out at uh, strike out at her philandering husband without lifting a finger. She dreams of his death and rises uh, the next morning to find the old gent uh, deader than a doornail. Little does she realize that it was her own emotion materialized as an angry spirit that has done the deed. Uh, this, my friend, is so much more in interesting than the ho-hum uh, western poltergeist. Why bother scaring folks with levitating books when your spirit can kill while you sleep? Okay. Uh, my dad had a record play like this. Yep, sure did. Let's check out your shitter. Hi. Current engineering. Hey! Uh, the Tempest uh, Prognosticator. I guess it was a real device. Yeah, we fixed that thing in game one. Neat. Uh, copper wire. Neat. Let's see, there's one more room. Oh, there's actually a few more rooms. He has a huge place. Dear Halloran, uh, thank you for submitting your article, The Cultural uh, Logic of Fear, to Monstrosities Magazine. Your submissions are so timely that I could nearly set my watch to them. Once a month, without fail, another Brom Halloran uh, treatise, our 
uh, on some god awful subject uh, or another land or, or another lands upon my desk, and it is my duty as professional to give it a read. The most painful part of this process is that the text itself, although to be clear, I would rather chew nails than be subjected to your well, of uh, yeah. <laughs> it's blissfully innocent attitude inherent in each submission. Uh, it's clear that you believe, even after so many rejections, that one day the clouds will part, and like a ray of light from the heaven, I will suddenly realize the true genius of your words. What a dick. Each manuscript uh, comes powdered with the hope that this is the one that will prove me wrong, the one that will uh, make the world sit up and take notice. Mr. Holleran, in, in, er, in rejecting this latest submission, I would also like to make a request. Please stop submitting your work to my magazine. My sense of professionalism is all that prevents me from tearing every envelope I see with your name on it in half. Please do not force me to test the limits of my composure. With regards, J. Grip. So that's why he was killed. I bet. Uh. Because he was one of the victims of the, the smiling man or whatever. And you know, uh, the killer cuts their faces in a smiling thing. And I just read a letter from Holleran about a face slit woman. I wonder if he took inspiration from that. Is Holleran the killer? Uh, let's see, morning. 2cc of fluid at the base of the neck. Spasm suppression successful, but V painful. Treatment efficiency feels poor. Need to find a way to deploy more directly to affected sites. Uh, aphasia seems to have fully progressed now. Last week I could still get a word out here and there, but today I'm completely unable to speak. Curiously, I can still sing. Even if the... I just realized that record player stopped, didn't it? Even if the treatments stop, uh, even the treatment stops, the disease, I don't think I'll... Stop the disease, I don't think I'll ever be able to speak again. The damage is done. Still better than dying, I guess. Paper towel. Neat. <laughs> okay. Uh, I got some Doyle tea. Okay. I th think I'm done. What's the deal with the black texture there? <laughs> and on the ceiling. <laughs> Uh, let's see, let's equip. Some of these symbols look like the ones on the page I found. You can make a circuit uh, using the wire that, okay. So like, square diamond water. Small plaque says Crane Serilock, a complete uh, circuit that encloses your code symbols to open. I need to connect the terminals uh, such that only the right symbols are enclosed. Oh, I get it. Ah, fuck. Fuck. I think I, I think I got it. Oh, it's not triangle, it's star. It it's I need to do star and water. How do I do this? A bedroom key. So is this the key for his bedroom or his brother's bedroom? Probably his brother's bedroom, if I have to assume. Uh. Yep. It's me, uh, Brim's brother, Colm. Uh. 
Elite surgeon retires amidst malpractice claims. Celebrated surgeon Calm Holloran uh, publicly announced his retirement from the field of medicine yesterday amidst claims of malpractice. Holloran, uh, who had established a reputation as the doctor of choice for the rich and famous, has been hounded by scandal after a series of high-profile patients died, th died in his care. Earlier this year, 23-year-old uh, Peggy Wharton, daughter of hotel mogul Johannes Wharton, died during an operation Holloran had described as routine, leading many to question the surgeon's competency. Uh, when people are, are dying, you can't just chalk it up to bad luck, said a friend of Holloran who did not wish to be named. Calm is a brilliant surgeon, but after so many failures, uh, the public has to or has lost confidence in him. Holloran made a name for himself in 19, 1946 when he successfully separated two conjoined twins in an operation others had declared impossible. Uh, he went on to perform other high-profile surgeries, including the removal of a railroad spike from the brain of a 12-year-old boy. Some in, some, in the community, uh, some in the community believe that Holloran's uh, failure to attribute or failures are attributable to a secret medical condition. Holloran de uh, declined to comment for this story, but several witnesses attest that the surgeon's hands often shake violently. Damn it. Injection gun, no vial. Empty vial. Uh, one look at this and they'll know I was here. I have to clean this up. Oh, right. There we go. That's why I have paper towel. Uh, Calm's vital signs. He's alive, but comatose, I guess. The event of a seizure. Ensure serum has been pro uh, properly mixed. Three parts something. Uh, blue stuff. Two parts immunosuppressants and one part morphine. Set the mixture dial to three and flip the switch to ensure that the compressor is on before mixing solution. Uh, mixture should be uh, should show blue lights. During active seizure, <sighs> enter something uh, injection uh, to is required uh, to bypass blood brain barrier. Oh, in the back of the head. Load jet inject load jet injector with serum. Uh, locate something res uh, reservoir under scalp near the top of the forehead. Like right here. Proceed with injection. Introduction of serum into the lateral ventricle should cause seizures to abate quickly. Monitor your patient carefully for tire. Okay. I'm gonna say can we close that? Oh hey. Yoink. Uh Oh. He's having some sort of uh attack. He needs medicine. Uh some sort of chemical? Okay, so it was Hold on, gotta save this dude. <laughs> Don't die me, buddy. Uh. No, not. I keep clicking objectives. Because it looks like a notepad. Documents. It's your apartment. An event of seizure. Alright, three parts the blue stuff. Two parts. Okay. So, three, two, one. Okay. Three. It's not working just yet. I should have blue lights. Oh, uh... There we go. It's not working just yet. There we go. So, one, two, one. Two. Three. It's a viscous liquid. Uh, doesn't look like the serum. <laughs> I must have made a mistake. Uh, all right. So it was three, two, one. Is that what they said? Yeah, three, two, one. Okay. Okay. 
I think I got it. All right. <clears throat> All right, let's do one, two, three, one, two, one. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, one. So this, okay, so this is the formula. That's, that's like way out of sync. Three, two, one. One, two, three. God damn it. It's like so out of sync. What the fuck? Three, three. Is that the blue stuff? But here, oh, here, let's try this. One, two, three, one, two, one. Looks like it worked. Yay. Now, combine with you. Uh, equip. Something that must be wrong with the injector. Uh, so, oh, okay. Uh, inspect. Fuck. It like clicks automatically. Did I fix it? I, I couldn't even see what the text said. It happened so quickly. Equip. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to give him one. Oh, there we go. Uh, uh, combine with you. Cool. Now, can I please just give him the fucking shot? What? Okay, then move it. Equip. Now, face. Not in the head. Did it work? Did I save him? Uh, Calm Hofferin. You have to lie via special serum. Looks like I managed to stabilize him. That was close. I bet he is the dude. He is the... the killer boy. I bet when he has seizures, that's when he, he's out and about. That's, that's my, uh, that's my preliminary guess anyways. Whenever he's having the seizure, that's when he is the ikuro yuri yuri yuri. Uh, it's not the right spot for this. Then here, let's try... Fuck. Equip. Let's try... There? This one goes here. Spot, uh, black granite, huh? I haven't seen anything else. I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do now either. It's like I saved the brother. Uh, I haven't seen any more of those little statues. Maybe I should leave. Maybe I should just get out of here. So I must have missed something somewhere. Uh, let's try to find some more of the statues, I guess. There it is. Raven statue, and I need one more. Um, let's go look. In the bathroom?
No. Uh, how about the kitchen? Is there a little statue hidden in here somewhere? No. No. Hmm. Where did I miss? Looking for one more statue. Go and pop it. Let's go and pop it in. Go just shove it in. Oh, here it is. It's literally right next to it. Vulture statue. All right. So we got the raven. Goes there. Vulture goes there. B. They're on to us. J. Up to something with J. Janet. Uh, okay. Well, that's the, that's the last note I need from this place. I think. Yeah, I got nine out of nine for his apartment. Uh, this is bad. Who's there? I can hear you, damn it. This is bad. I didn't know he was going to be coming home like that. Last warning. Come out or I'll blow your head off. Oh. There's no one here. I could have sworn I heard something. Uh No. Oh cool. Well, that sucks. There we go. Okay. Uh I figured it out. Cool. Bram's little secret is his big brother. Colum is well, he's on his deathbed. Literally. There's this machine keeping him alive. Looks like Bram gave up writing to be his brother's keeper. There's more. He seems to be up to something with Janet. Guess who's next on my list? The laughing man's somewhere in this building. I can feel his presence. In the halls and in my dreams. Maybe the fourth floor? <laughs> cool. Uh, ooh, another puzzle book. Uh, I haven't played chess since my dad died. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I have to move the pieces somewhere? I'm confused. So is red where we start? Okay, yeah, so I would need the knight to get that one. For that one, I would need the bishop. For number three, I'd need the rook. Number four, nope, uh, rook again. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, because one would be that one, then bishop, 
And then number three could easily be the rook. Same with number four. I can also do this, I think. And that, that could be the knight as well. Alright, let's let's look around a bit more. <laughs> Maybe there's another puzzle book somewhere. Uh see? It no calls, nobody to call. See, it just like clicks for you sometimes. Uh solve this puzzle already. Alright. Oh yeah, that's the one with the the cookies on the back. Anything new. I think this is still the same paper. Yeah. Hello. Two. Uh. Uh. All right, <clears throat> so I think I've kind of figured out how this works. So I think the diamond represents one, and so the diamond five is just five. Add that up with four to make the nine. Then the nine and the six, if this guy is a ten, the, the spade, if that's a ten, that'd actually be fifteen. So nine plus six is fifteen. 6 plus 17 would be 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It would be like 23. So that would be a heart. And then... Am I doing this right? Yeah, 9... What's the... the heart has to be 20, right? No, the spade is 20. Yeah, 6... Uh, is that to be 15? No, yeah, 15, 17. So 17... plus 6 is 20... 23. And so I think it goes... Yeah, there's singles, 10s, 20s than 30s, or like up to 40, I guess. So, yeah, that makes 17, that makes 23. So then, 23 plus 15. Would be Club eight. Hey! Oh my god! Boom. Easy sneezy. That's good shit. Good shit, TM. I really like these puzzles. They're actually one of my favorite parts about the game. Uh, I spend way too much time <laughs> doing them though. Like, I just spent about 20 minutes on that one. All right, this one, number one is night, of course. Stop it. Okay, so number one's night. I thought number two would be you. But you can also get it with the rook. Now number three would also be rook. Four has to be night, because it's the only one that can do that. Oh, 
know. <laughs> kind of just guessed that. I mean, I knew. I am just that fucking smart. Any more? Last time there were three. Uh, already did you. Alright, I guess that's it. Oh, right, I have to go over my case notes, then I'll end the video. You drive, I have to go over my case notes. <laughs> Here we go. Boop. Time to go over my notes. Alright, found Bram's brother Colm in, in the apartment. What is wrong with him? Uh, he has a degenerative disease. Excuse me. According to his notes, Colm has a degenerative disease. Disease. He's been fighting for years. Now he's bedridden and comatose. Why am I so burpy now? I went the whole video. Totally fine. What did Colm do before he fell ill? Uh, I don't want to see the moon. I don't want to see the moon. I don't want to see the moon. I don't want to see what the moon shows me. Keep together, Patricia. Colm was a surgeon. His disease forced him to retire. Uh, I found a suspicious note in Bram and Combs' apartment. What was it? A letter from Janet. Janet's note suggested that uh, she has some sort of secret connection to Brom. To learn more about her, I can do this. Alright, let's go and do the dream segment, then I'll end the video. Bram almost caught me today. I need to be more careful tomorrow. Let's see what the dream sequence is this time. I really like this game. This series is great. Ooh. Oh, that's where we ended last time. Okay. This is really cool. I like the Japanese folklore stuff they keep bringing in. Oh man, it's it's, it's we walk painfully slow though. Like it makes like my heart hurt because like I want to like go faster. I'm just an impatient boy, I guess. Can I... do I have anything? Nope, okay. Is that the monkey from game one? No, that looks like a... I don't know what the fuck this is. Another weird statue. And then that wakes me up. Nope, guess it doesn't. Oh no. <laughs> Stairs in repair, use elevator. Okay, so this is the basement of the the place. Alright. Well that's neat. It is purple as fuck down here. Oh and there he is. So, like, am I supposed to hide? I'm not really sure where to hide at, so let's just keep moving forward. Like, I'm clicking on stuff, and she's not snapping to it or hiding or anything. Hey, buddy. Why is, why is that keep happening? <laughs> so good. Let me some like 80s synth kind of sound. Again, I have a mummified rat, a weird Hanawa, and a pocket watch. Uh. I am so confused about this segment. Because, like, my vision went black until I open up my menu. Can I use a rat on it? Can I use a Hanawa on it? Can I use a pocket watch on it? <laughs> Alright. Uh... This feels wrong. Like, the music stopped. 
the enemy's gone. This feels like a glitch. <laughs> I might need to go to the main menu and come back in or something. There's no other... Nothing else I can really do in here. Yeah, here. Let's let's go back to the main menu. This fixed my glitch last time when I couldn't get back into the apartment. And now the screen's black. So I guess I'll figure this out in the next video. <laughs> what the fuck? I like this game, but it is a little bit buggy, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, I like this. I think this should this game should be done in the next two parts or so. See, this didn't even happen last time. Like, that wasn't making a sound. He wasn't laughing. I don't like this. Yeah, he wasn't... Okay, so there's, there's some new shit. That's good. So I'm just kind of following him, I guess. Although, didn't he kill me? What? Is he dark and spooky? Damn, he got a he got a tight butt though. Oh, did I get too close? Or did he hear me talking about his butt? Well. Let's try that again. Maybe I got too close. Cause I was just like kinda right up on him. Jeezy Creasy. I don't know how this works. Like that's, that little blob is, that's him. I really don't understand how this works. Like he ain't moving. There he goes. Dark and spooky? Okay. Maybe I just can't look at him. Hey, there we go. This guy's weird. Look, Dr. Hathaway. You're my shrink, so I don't expect you to believe that my soul separates from my body, that it's off investigating while I sleep. You'll say it stems from the trauma uh, from the dream apparatus. Maybe it does, but it's real. There's no other explanation. Today's goal, find a way into Janet's apartment. She and Bram are up to something. I just need to find out what. Hmm. Okay, cool. We'll do this part in the next video. So again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> okay, bye.